still Friday. Ah, uh, Thursday, sorry. We're standing in what was my old fish room and is going to be my coming up fish room. So, discussing today about putting the big four, the, the two foot racks in here somewhere with the big tanks and stuff. As soon as I walked in here, I realised it's actually not possible. So I'll flip the camera over and I'll show you what I mean. So the big empty tank, we're going to sit it there. That fits, that's fine. There's a bit of slop on each side. It is what it is. It's kind of hard making square stuff fit in square rooms. That leaves, because it's 900 high, it's a long, it's about there. Socks and jandals, best combination ever. Which then leaves kind of this much room. Which isn't going to be big enough for the tank the front hose are in. Which means they've got to go along here. Now because that tank's 7 foot, I think from memory, uh, the empty tank goes to about there. So it goes to along there. So it didn't quite fit. When I was doing the measurements, we only just were able to squeeze those other ones in. So it's clown loaches and front hose and the big tank and all the couriers and L numbers. Or it's clown loaches or front hose and the big and the uh the rack basically now that i'm out here i kind of remember that so uh yeah back to kind of in the same position maybe i might be able to fiddle it around and go with some of those three foot tanks the four three foot tanks in one hit maybe along there in that position there that might be an option then seven foot tank along there then the big sucker along there that could work. Um, yeah, I just have a wee play around and I think a bit of mental maths again, but yeah, as soon as I walked out here, I remembered that that we, we tried to do that. I just got excited today, it wasn't going to work. So, uh, next time you see me will be Friday and we're gearing up for Fanatics Friday copy date. So, bring it on. So, now it's Friday and I may or may not have accidentally left the lights on overnight. Sorry, fishies. Got me coffee, it's Friday, I'm happy, we're going to do this. Uh, we're about an hour away from going into the Fanatics Friday coffee date uh, with Lowell's Fish Lab. Going to be a fun time if you're interested in breeding tropical fish. Uh, after that, I'm not sure what we're going to do today. Uh, probably do some more replying to comments and stuff like that. Um, it's been a lot of things we've got planned, a little bit of computer work and things like that. Um, it's been a bit of a rough week, as I know you're all probably aware, so all the kind of water changes and stuff like that have just sort of dropped behind although I'm saying that I did this corner here uh, so yeah I can give you an update on the hospital tank right now so here we go it's looking lush it is held water I'm happy so it looks like that's a, it's a win-win right there so problem solved I think the issue that we're having when it was leaking was up here there was a rock in the filter it was quite clogged and everything like that but by the time I got there the water level was halfway down and um, so yeah but we've got that I'll probably do a little bit of work on that I suspect today and now that we are four months into the video I guess I'll say hey welcome to the day in the life of running a tropical fish store hooray uh, anyway something else that dawned on me last night when I was um, doing my wee loop of my fish room at home is that I've got some plants here that I want to keep how can I make that work it's not a lot but there is a few I've got some plants that are, uh, we'll say relatively rare here in New Zealand, not super rare, but relatively rare. We can't kind of see because the lights are off. Um, I've got my crinum out the front, obviously. Uh, we've got some Cripsiolata in there, which isn't particularly common. I've got Crip Blasi hanging around in the shop as well. Uh, I've got a few different species of Anubius hanging around. Although I've neglected them all, I still have them. I've got a dwarf aquarium lily there, which I don't think is the one that's very common in New Zealand. It's a different one. Um, so yeah, I've got a few plants, but not heaps, that I want to keep. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. Front hose is no go, clown launch is no go, which means I'm going to have to go in the big tank with the L numbers and the corridors. Corridors, no dramas. L numbers might cause an issue. So it's L numbers now that are causing my how do I make this work situation going on so we'll see how we go with that the old sumps a little bit low I was thinking then I'll fill it up today but 
tomorrow traditionally it seems to be water change in the shop sales tank so if I leave it a little bit low when I turn all the things off things can fill up so I might leave this until tomorrow and I'll give it a decent clean out through the sponges and stuff like that as well because it's looking pretty pretty filthy that was really cool I know I see this pretty much every time we end up in it's Friday copy date but I enjoyed the shit out of that he had a really cool and interesting approach uh, to the way that he produces his fish, the way that he makes his videos, and just the general fish keeping in, in, as a whole. Uh, I would highly recommend you check it out. I highly recommend you check out all the Fanatics Friday Copy Dates. Uh, but yeah, that was it was an absolute blast. He seems like an absolutely lovely human being as well, which is always really cool. And obviously, fish, uh, fish are just his life, like you, me, and everybody else that watches these videos. So yeah. Highly encourage you to check that video out. Fanatics Friday copy that till today if you didn't see it live. It is, it is a good time. The sun's not really out. Sign is most definitely out. 11 a.m. Let's do this. Time for today's algorithm engagements where I ask you a question. You like the video and you answer. It's nice and simple. What this does is helps more people see the Fanatics Friday coffee date because YouTube goes, hey, people are engaging with this. We're going to show people more of their videos. That's what we want to see because the Fanatics Friday coffee date is phenomenal. Right, today's algorithm engager, the last one on our school of six, is what is your unicorn fish? What is the one fish that you want to keep, hold, take photos of, spawn, anything like that? What is your one unicorn fish? Currently at the moment, I can't really think of a said unicorn fish. I'd love it if we got snakeheads here, but we don't. Uh, so I think what I would like, I'm going to just adapt it a little bit, is I'd like a unicorn aquarium, and I'd love to finally build my clown lodge tank that I've been trying to do for the last forever. I've got about 10 clown lodges, as you've seen plenty of times in the videos, and I'll probably show you some more today. I'd like to two, three, four times that amount, and two, three, four times the size of the aquarium, and just do a clown lunch tank, because that to me, it's right up there with something that I really want to achieve before before I die. Not that I'm dying, but you know what I mean. Cool. So what's your unicorn fish? Please let us know in the comments down below. Like the video. Let's chop on with the rest of the day. Well, 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 well. Would you look at that? No lights. Update of our Echinodorus. It's actually gone quite large. And we're beginning to get our first flower. That ain't bad. So as I said the other day, the little buddy bits pop out from there. Like that, as you can see. And they turn into a little flower bud. So these little flowers will then turn into plants. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. What's not cool is this. I think we might be battling cyanobacteria in here. Uh, good thing I've got a treatment for it. So we will begin that process today. 99% sure it is, but not 100% sure. Maybe I can sniff the water. Let's see. That was probably quite an awful view. Sorry. Doesn't smell like old socks, which Sino normally does. So maybe it's not. Uh, I do believe the light is way too close to everything, and that's not helping, but maybe it's not Sino. It's something different. I just feel weird slime algae. Over we think of that, I'll see if we trust my gut or I do something different on that one. See, I told you I'd show you my preciouses again. Should they go? Such a cool fish. I'm so excited to have a light over this tank. I don't know why I didn't for so long. Red fish. Very red fish. Hey, home. Let us continue. No, I'm going to look at some fish for a bit longer. I'm going to look at fish, but I'm going to stop the video. I was going to start singing, because I'm listening to Lincoln Park, and he's like, Anyway! And he's about to bust into his chorus, so I nearly sang at the same time. But anyway, the standard normal Friday ups and down lows is happening this afternoon. So I've been on the old computer machine, cranking on some cat cut means. I'm not going to lie, some of the best I think I've ever done. If you weren't aware, I do this stuff for the Three Hits Aquariums podcast as well. And I have made some absolute corker little shorts on that for them today. It's a gem. Find the YouTube, which is just three hits to aquariums. Subscribe, check out the shorts. You'll love it, I assure you. 
I'll put it up there. And some cool ones for the fish room as well. But anyway, I've enjoyed it. It's been a really fun couple of hours. It's just sort of, yeah, nice to take mind off things and do some other creative stuff. So that's been cool. Uh, we're going to end up feeding some fish. Uh, I don't think we've got any orders to pack. Go feed some fish through. And then we're going to be pretty much close to the end of the day. So not that eventful for you guys today. I'm really sorry. Because I'm not sure how long this video has gone for so far. And I need to do this, you see, like I've run out of bags and they're over there and over there. Hey look, I've got to unscrew these bags. Unscrew, 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 unscrew. And I'm going to totally unscrew it. Which is unusual for me. Normally I just screw things. So yeah. And I don't mean that in a... I actually don't know which way that I mean that. Anyway, look at this. Okay, I can't get it off. Hold on, hold on. See, oh, so simply I just managed to make that work and let's go back on and look. Now we've got bags. The voila! Damn it, I put them on backwards. Oh well, I'll do this one now too. Match in the gas tank. Boom, boom. Oh, good. Also, as sad as it is and how potentially, well, actually, how much it is making it real, might have found a buyer or a new home for Ross and Taylor, the Froggos. So hopefully the whole setup, uh, we'll be finding out probably this afternoon or maybe tomorrow if they are going to take the whole thing. So, uh, yeah, it's a little bit sad because these dudes are awesome, but I am pretty sure that I won't be able to have them at home. So, uh, yep, it is what it is. The reality of what's going on is definitely happening for me. Crikey, they are cool when they're small. If only when they got big, they stayed as cool as that, they would be... Awesome fish. Okay, bye. Didn't want to look at you anymore anyway. Back in my happy place looking at my happy fish. How good. Yep, I did just drop a little bit of Apache too. But that's okay. I'm allowed to. Don't tell the boss. Shit, they're cool. Such a super cool fish. Love them. Right, let's get on to feeding the front hose as well, which I equally love. Do, 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 do. Oh, beautiful! Water is looking particularly clean and clear as well. Whee! If you have the space, I would honestly encourage you to give front hose a go and if you can do it in as close to a species only possible tank as you can you'll get the best out of them that way. Don't mix them with Mbuna, don't mix them with other um, like Malawi cichlids. If you're going to do it, tangs only, but preferably do them by themselves. You won't regret it, they are so cool. Those are gorgeous fish. Oh grumpy guts there. I just sold the Red Terrors, I just sold the Red Terrors, I just sold the Red Terrors. Woo! All three of them are going so happy! Yes! It is a win for a Friday! Get in me! Woo! I don't know why Get in me came out then, but they're gone. They're sold. They're being picked up this afternoon. I'm happy. You should be happy. I'm happy. Red Terrors are gone! Woo! Been a bit of a frantic afternoon. No more red terrors, however. Uh, this is how we're leaving it. This is what I deal with tomorrow morning. It is tomorrow Cam's problem, not today Cam's problem. We are out for a Friday. See you on Saturday.